Hello, 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 hello. Hopefully I get people to show up today. A little bit of a delay. If anybody's here, please let me know in the comments if you're here. Oh goodness, I think everything looks good. Oh, hello, hello. I see somebody. Hello. Hi, everybody. Okay, good, good. Hello, hi, friend. I don't think that I know your name. I don't think that I know your first name. Um, let me know your name because I, I see your comments all the time and I truly appreciate it, but I don't know your first name. Hello, hi, hi, Christy. Hello. This is working. I think we're good. It's always a little bit hard whenever I die because I'm not really sure if it's going to, if everything in Open Apple is going to work. So, hello. Hi, stay the course. Hello. Awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I got a few people here. Hi, Petra. Hello. Hi, Yuen. Hello. All right, this is good. You guys, it's like 32 degrees outside here in Central Indiana. I mean, tomorrow is finally spring and I am so excited because I have a very busy week. I have lots of things to do and I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, we have uh, some really nice days coming up, so I am going to take full advantage of that because Hi. Hello. Oh, a lot of people here. Oh, you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Today I have a couple of things that I want to um that I want to show you. I want to talk to you about. Uh, and if if we have uh, enough time, I don't want to make this too long for people who are watching the replay. Uh, I'll show you a few other things. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I was just talking to you um, today through Instagram, I believe, awesome. All right, so let me show you a couple of things that I, that I, wanna, um, that I wanna mention, let me see. I think I am good there, okay. So let me show you my peppers, you guys. Make sure that I don't have any water so I don't actually spill anything on top of my keyboard. Look at all my peppers. Look at all these. These are all spicy peppers. I have right here on this side, I have poblanos. All of these right here are poblanos. The ones in the red containers are my jalapenos. And all of the ones right here on the side are my chilled bean peppers. And I'm going to be <sighs> doing a lot of pinching. Do you guys pinch your peppers? If you grow peppers, do you guys pinch them? I know some people feel weird about that, about actually um, topping them, cutting the tops, pinching. Um, but if you look at these, at these, uh, let me make sure that I don't mix them. This is a poblano. If you guys look at this poblano pepper, it's nice and it's growing. And actually, you can see, maybe not, you can see some of the, the roots coming. So these are be ready to be moved up pretty soon, but I am going to be basically topping them. So I I, I personally like to leave a couple of uh, sets of the true leaves. So these are like the, the coatings of the seeds and first set, second set, and I'm just going to cut or pinch this. And that's going to make for a bushier, stronger plant. Uh, so this plant, instead of just growing one, one stem up, is just going to be, you know, going sideways, going to produce branches. And I am just going to be doing all of that for 
my peppers, especially today, my peppers. Um, hello, Carmen. Hi. I know for those people in cooler zones, I know that you guys are like, yes, I just want to have my babies. I know I have people that I, I follow people on Instagram that are already planting their tomatoes outside and I haven't even started my tomatoes yet. So, but definitely I think those tomatoes are, are going to be started this week. Yes, I honestly, I pinch every, every pepper of mine because I think that it helps them. Um, like I said, I think that a lot of people just do this how and how they feel about it, uh, but it definitely helps them. Um, definitely what a lot of people do uh, for their plants when they pinch them is they, they definitely do do help with the plants, I think. So if you're not pinching your peppers and this is the first time that you guys are, are doing that, you definitely um, you definitely look into that. Oh goodness, I'm not really sure where everything went. Hang on, you guys. Awesome. Oh, I have a lot of people joining. That's awesome. How are we feeling about Sundays uh, for lives, you guys? Is this a good time? Three Eastern, what is that like? Uh, to be natural like noon in, in the far west. the only sweet peppers for me. Yes, you know, I, I don't do much sweet peppers. They grow fine here, but they take a lot of time for me to actually mature before I can harvest. So I don't I do not do them. And if I decide to do them, I just normally just grab the, the stars at the, at the nursery. No, so there are actually a lot of things that you can do these to uh, peppers. And I actually make a list. Hang on, I made a slide here for you guys. Awesome. So these are all of the things that I personally pinch. Uh, peppers, definitely. Peppers, definitely one of them. Marigolds, snapdragons. If I get any snapdragons to actually grow this year, uh, I will be pinching those. Dahlias for sure. Uh, although dahlias, they need to be a little bit on the on the tall size. Um, cosmos, zinnia, salvia, coleus. Even though coleus. I didn't do coleus last year because they were already so huge and healthy. I didn't have the need for them to, to be pinched. Um, petunias as well. I'm, I, guys, I love how my petunias are growing. So there, I, I have this list here for you. These are the ones that I have started. I'm sure there is a ton more that you guys can pinch. And let me know in the comments. Do you guys, um, and even for those watching the replay, do you guys pinch a lot of things or do you guys just skip that? Um, I know that I'm missing a bunch here on this list, but if you have other plants that you guys grow from seed that you pinch, let me know on, um, on the comments because, and by the way, now that I'm growing lavender, do you guys pinch your lavender for those people that um, grow lavender successfully? Because I was Googling that, but I didn't have enough time to actually check. So I'm not really sure if I can, if I can actually do that. Awesome, Christine. Good luck with your peppers. I I don't personally pinch my tomatoes. Um, I have never known of anyone pinching their tomatoes. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure if she has good success with that. <laughs> Sunday is great. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, it's hard, you know, it's hard to choose a day that, that you know, what I mean that maybe, um, like, they was running around trying to start dinner. I have dinner halfway made. Um, but that's also a thing that takes, like, forever, so I could probably just do, like, pizza night. Let's see. Saturday is way, way, way too busy with garden live streams. Oh, God, yeah, yes. I know, and it's not going to be something that I do every Sunday. I think that maybe every couple of weeks. I am just, uh, I have been doing then, I have been doing the lives. Uh, this is my third live, and I think that they are, they're okay. Um, I don't know. I know people sometimes just show up on lives and they just, you know, answer questions. And I don't know if I can just do that. I feel like I have to like show you something or update you with something. Awesome. 
Oh, I love that you guys are talking to each other in the in the um, in that. You guys, this software is really nice. I'm using. I know somebody asked me before. I'm using EMAX, and it's an upcoming software. And I, I love. It. Let me see. Oh, thank you so much. Visit our garden. You just got me. I don't know why you got me. It says that you gave. Me, it says that you gave me money. I'm not really sure how this works. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, let me see. You guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I know that it helps. It helps the video be seen, and it also helps the channel. So don't forget to do that. All right, let me go back to showing you a couple more peppers because I know that some of you are like, I have no idea what happened there. All right, so this is another poblano. It's another poblano right here. And by the way, I started these peppers on the 6th of February and they were started in smaller containers and they were moved here a couple of weeks later or so. Um, they're amazing. So these are, uh, what's the name of the, these are not the two leaves, cotyledons. Kuru, or colitidins, I'm not really sure on that. Um, but these are not the true leaves. These are the true leaves right here. So I have one, two, and normally I like to leave two sets of true leaves and then I just pinch the rest like this. And that's all there is, not much to it. This guy is definitely ready. And this guy, um, these are not the true leaves, these are. And what I could do, I've seen people that use like pinch all of this. I'm just too scared to do that. I use a little bit high. And by the way, see how these plants are a little bit like tall? They're a little bit leggy in my opinion. Um, what I'm going to do when I cut this up to the next side, I'll probably just like go like as deep as this and that will be fine. Like the plant's going to be totally fine. And even though I like to leave a couple of true leaves when I pinch, um, like this guy is perfect. This guy is actually just perfect. I'm trying just to show you the best picture. First set, second set, and I'm going to top right there. Perfect. But like these guys right here, this guy right here is still a little bit, oh, it's still a little, um, so it's a little bit on the small side. So I'm just gonna wait on that just for a second. But I have a bunch of those peppers, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pinching all of them. It's going to be like quick. It's just a matter of deciding which ones are big enough that I can do those. But like this guy right here, I'm looking at it. This guy right here, it's a jalapeno. This one still has one. Uh, I'm just going to be cutting this this bunch here because I have a nine, two sets of true leaves. And that's going to be perfect. Look at that. Can you tell that I've been getting some coffee? All right, let me check the comments really quick. Hello, hi, friend. Hi, Debbie. Awesome, yes. And you can also watch the replay. This will be up, if I don't miss up anything. This will be up as a replay. <laughs> um, probably if that person is next to you. Crisis is the April 21st, your last frosted. Yes, yeah, so mine is officially, if you if you type in my zip code into one of those uh, websites where you can find out your last frosted, it's April 25th. But nobody here in Central India goes by that day. Like, nobody here puts their tomatoes out on April 25th. Uh, they normally wait by May 10th, although that's uh, still a little bit too too far for me. I always say May 1st, kind of like in the middle, but I'm always making the forecast anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, friend, but how long have you waited? Because my took my seeds, my lavender seeds that I put in the freezer, they took 20 days or so. Like I have two or three that did like seven days, but the rest did mostly about 20 days. They terminated. Have you waited that long? Just keep on, keep on waiting, I will say. Hello. Hi. 
Oh, yes. I didn't know this, actually. Uh, I think that when I, my first year with tomatoes, with peppers, sorry, my first year with peppers, um, it was, yeah, I, I don't think that I did that. It might have been my second year. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I know. That's that's eucalyptus for me. I I germinate the seeds very well, then they get about an inch out and nothing. Uh, oh. Sorry, I should probably just put like all of your comments up here. Oh, yeah, for you guys up in, in Canada in the northern, way northern than us. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, thank you. Yes. All right. So let me see what else I have before I go through all of this. Um, Insure indeterminate tomatoes. See, I don't, I don't ever do that for my tomatoes. I don't know. But I also just keep them in one stem and then i start cutting you know like all of the stems up but that's not until they are outside like not my baby seedling plants i didn't know you could i mean i didn't know people could do that <laughs> absolutely awesome oh jay thank you i think that these um these comments, they get a little bit way off, like with a delay, because I see you guys talking about things and I'm, I'm way behind. I'm trying to, um, if I skip you in the comments, I'm not trying to ignore you, but I feel like I'm 52 comments behind apparently. So, um, but thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, so let me move on because I definitely want to talk about something else and before this gets too long. So I mentioned that I have uh, dahlias growing from seed and this is actually interesting because I bought a packet from Park Seed and I bought a packet from Floret. And I also say my own from my Dahlia that I had outside. And looking back now, I wish I would have chosen the best looking plant. Um, but I just chose whatever, you know, whatever uh, bloom, right, blooms that I could find that had seeds in it. So that's what I did. Uh, and it's fine. And let me show you the ones that, that I purchased from Floret and from Park Seed. They took like literally three days to terminate. And here are the ones from Park Seed. Let's see how beautiful they are. I started these guys on the 3rd of March. One seed per container. And as you can tell, only one. Only one container didn't make it. So out of 12 seeds, 11 did amazing. They're looking really, really, really good. And the ones from Floret did, they did well. They didn't do um, as great as far as germination goes, but they do well. Again, on the 3rd of, uh, it was the 4th, but it's really the 3rd of March. And I get four seeds there uh, to germinate, but not bad. And the ones that I saved from my garden, again, on the same date, I put them there. And these are the ones that I collected from my Milena. And I almost gave up on them, you guys, because they took about a week after the ones that I purchased germinated. So this took a long, long time. But I still have some germination there which I am very excited because these are my own seeds. These are my babies. And these are the ones that I collected from a dark variety, which is La Recoleta. And I know that I'm not going to get the same variety, but I am excited to see what kinds of dahlias these become. So I have a lot of dahlias from seeds. Look at that. Those look amazing, you guys. If you guys are not starting dahlias from seed, and if you are doing any dahlia here, you should definitely look into saving your own seeds. I know that some dahlias are better than others as far as giving seeds. But I mean, if you don't care about, you know, like being surprised what kind of dahlias you get, 
this is the way to go, you guys. This is the way to go. Um, are you guys doing dahlias? Who is doing dahlias here from Seed? And um, is this your first year or have you, have you been doing it for a while? Okay, let me see. Hello, hi, Marianne. No, we're just, we're just starting. It feels like we're just starting. We haven't here 20 minutes. Hello. Oh, from Denmark. Hello, Bella. Oh, lucky you. Give me some tips for growing snapdragons because I don't know. This is the third batch that I started in. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they do. Has been. They had been there for four days and I don't see anything. So oh, I don't know. So I do but not until later like right now the only one item that i have fertilized were my petunias because the leaves were looking a little bit yellowish and i think that that's kind of like the shade of green that they are so because they didn't change after i fertilized them they didn't change but i'll probably be giving my um my peppers maybe some i mean they're they're looking great honestly i can't complain they're looking really good. So no, I don't push them. Once they get outside, they'll just take off. They'll get plenty of fertilizer. So, uh, and I also use potting mix. So they are getting something from there. Do not, okay, let's see. Gotcha, okay, got it. Yeah, you know, some, it, Peppers like it really hot. And I always say it, if you're if your grow room where you have your seedlings is a little bit on the cooler side, uh, they're just gonna take a little bit longer. My room right now is about 74, so this is the average. So it's it's really, really nice. Yes. Oh my gosh, I have something to show you uh regarding cannas, but I know I actually treated my seeds last night. They're in water right now. But yes, I am excited to. Awesome. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Heather is my cheerleader as well. You know, give the thumbs up to this video. Thank you so much, friend. And I actually make a little, a little thing here for as a reminder. So, I mean, if I can remember to actually put it up. Oh my goodness. I am getting really behind on the comments, you guys. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that like you normally would any other plant that you that you overwinter. Um, are you keeping it with leaves inside or do you just have like the roots in a, in a container? Because I know I don't do this, but I have seen people do this and where they right about now they start waking them up indoors and they try to get plants to grow some leaves and you know, start waking up so that by the time that you take them outside, they are already going uh, and you have to do the hardening up course, but I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody here can give you a little bit more of, um, of uh, advice on that. Yes. Um, and I do this for my peppers. Not, not as much. I don't plant them as deep as I would tomatoes, but just a little bit. Like if this was a tomato, I will be like removing the leaves and I will be planting this much. This guy, maybe I'll just go like a tiny bit. Um, like haven't had anything happen, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's your lavender. I know. I feel like lavender can be tricky for people. Maybe I just got lucky this year. There what I checked a few days ago and there was something popping, something green. I, I don't even know what kind it was, but uh, maybe I'll do something like an update and see if there is anything right now. I highly doubt it, but um, at this year I have making sure I am definitely making sure to give them water. So we'll see. Oh, awesome! Yes, absolutely. So this is why you will be pinching your peppers, or um, I put a list of the the plants that I pinch. You basically want to encourage the plants. Um, you want to leave a couple of sets of the true leaves and by pinching the top like this, 
you encourage the plant to go sideways to produce more branches and to get bushier rather than just having one tall um, main stem. And the bushier the plant gets, the more space that there are for, for the fruit, for peppers. So that's the reason behind it. And uh, for the people who are just uh, joining us, this is the list of the things that I, um, that I pinch. Um, and I know that I'm missing a bunch. And there's just a lot of things that you can pinch that it will help the plant. But there are a lot of them that you shouldn't. Uh, oh, like, try to think of which, probably lemongrass. I don't think that I will pinch lemongrass. I will just. Um, this is the list of the ones that I, that I do. Okay, let me see if I can keep up. Really, you guys. <laughs> awesome. I know I have I have been watching your videos on YouTube about um, doing your plantings and everything. And um, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I know. I know. I am. I'm looking forward to, to getting all my plants ready to go. But the hardening off process is almost a little bit intense for me. Yeah, you know, I had them, I probably could have gotten them a little bit closer to my lights. It's one of the things that I'm not worried about them, really. I mean, if they were really leggy, then I would be really worried, but they're not that bad. Oh, good. Oh, yes. I My tulips are about maybe a couple of inches from the ground. They're not quite... I'm not quite showing just yet. And I think that I lost my daffodils. There is nothing showing in my containers. I had them in containers. Um, those were some really nice daffodils that I had. And, um, and I even like started moving the, the soil and I didn't see anything. So I have a feeling that they, they rotten or something. Yes, that is exactly correct. I know, right? People like with last frost dates, like in February or March, like really, could you even have a frost? Awesome. I love that you guys are interacting in the chat with each other. That makes me feel better. Oh, thank you, Joey. Yes, I am glad that I kept on going because I have met some amazing, amazing people. Um, throughout this journey of YouTube. And it has been definitely a challenge, but it has been a great, great time for at least for me. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, so I dug mine up from the ground. I did that part and then I forgot them outside. When I remember that they were still outside, um, they were all like really mushy. Oh yeah, that's every gardener after watching other people's uh, videos and learning. Like honestly, if I watch, I start watching uh, like seed hauls of any kind, vegetables or seeds or flowers because yeah, I have like I'm I'm done watching because I always end up having some sort of ways of like oh maybe I'll just order a packet of this and that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You With your weather in Florida, right? You're in Florida. I I don't know. And I, I am not the person to help you in that. I know um, you guys have a tricky time. And I say tricky because with the humidity, but then also with all your... Um, do you even have a winter? I mean, how cold does it get in Florida? Ah, oh, yeah. Welcome to the club. Oh, good, good. Gotcha. Well, you must have a, a really long or a really um, long time because mine, if I put my seats, my Dahlia seats outside the so it will take forever to actually mature and I'll probably be in October before I have like a first bloom. 
Gotcha. Yeah, I this will be my first year trying them from seed, so we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, I know. I am really bad at that as well. Overwintering anything, whether it's peppers or cannas, uh, the rhizomes, or I mean ginger. Somebody said just put your ginger inside and you know it's for nature. I I can't. Like I will literally kill. I don't know how these plants behind me are still going because they must be really tough house plants because they're still alive. So. Oh, thank you so much. I hope that these videos are helping you. Hello. Yes, cannas have been from seed. They have been really easy, honestly. And that brings me to something else that I want to show you. Um, so this will be my fourth year growing from seed. And the first year I believe I tried cannas from seed um and all i was doing i was grabbing the seed and i was using a metal nail filer because for cannabis you, the, the coating the seed is just really tough it's really strong so you have to make some sort of um the process called scarification so you're trying to make a, a cut a access for the water to get in so you really have to scratch which you can't really scratch i mean that that uh seed is just really really off. So I have been using a nail filer. And I have been, you know, like I don't have one with me right now, but I have been using a, let's just guess this is my, my seed. And I have been just there, you know, waiting forever to try to make a cut. And then you, um, you soak the seeds for a few days until they start showing signs of germination. You want to make sure that you change the water constantly. But, um, and I have been showing that on my videos, and a lot of people actually mention, hey, you should try a um, like an electric dog nail trimmer. I'm not really sure that's what they're called. But I got one. I don't actually do this for my dog. I have a dog. Uh, but I used to have one for my cannabis and other seats that I have. Um, so let me show you. This guy is, I did all of my cannabis. I think I have about 30 seeds last night, and it took me less than 10 minutes to do all of them, really. And normally that's a process that it will take me a long time. I will be watching the movie and I will do a few because they really are really strong seeds. If, if you have never had canna seeds, they're really, really strong. But this guy, hopefully you can see it. It rotates and it has like a couple of seeds. I just want like the fastest. And it has like a little light. So literally, I am also going to be doing these guys here, snail grind. And supposedly you're supposed to, supposedly you're supposed to, look at that. Um, supposedly you are, um, you're supposed to do this. <laughs> you're supposed to do this for the seeds. Um, me and my perfect English. And basically what I did, like right there, and I tried this, you guys. It really is like no big deal. Boom, done. And this is literally how long it took me for my cannas. You're not going to be able to see it because I'm going to need a special, like a special uh, lens. Maybe you can. Yeah, see that white part on the seed? I already reached the more of the part of the uh, the inside of the seed you don't want to be cutting off obviously a bunch of the seed just enough so that the water has access to it let me show you one more and i found this on amazon this guy was like 20 bucks on amazon there's like only a thousand choices and the reason why i like this guy is because you can charge it with a usb so that's what i did yesterday and let me show you here again. Like, look, there is nothing there. And then literally, like five seconds later, and you have your results right there. And amazing, you guys, this thing is so worth it. Um, if you gave me that advice on my comments on those camera videos about purchasing one of these things, thank you so much because 
genius, like genius. I'll use this thing once a year for the seeds that I have to scarify, but so, so worth it. Let's see. Hello, hi, Emmanuel. By the way, those cannas are probably are right now in water there and they're probably going to be ready here in like a couple of days. Yes, girl for it. Hello. Um, I do start nasturtiums indoors though, just because, you know, I like to have already the plants huge by the time that they get outside. But I do have here and there, uh, halfway through the season, um, I do direct sell my nasturtium. Sorry, I'm like losing train of thought here. Awesome. Thank you, Heather. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, people, what's up with that? <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, Tony. I'm so sorry. I am way, I'm way behind on my comments. I'm so sorry. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to show this comment because I know people can definitely um, benefit from this. Some flowers, really, you can do this with a few of them? Hmm, interesting. I didn't know that. This in Florida. Gotcha, yes. I honestly, I complain about the cold. I don't enjoy the cold, but I do enjoy the snow. I didn't grow up with the snow. And I actually, my first time that I ever witnessed snowing was, I was 16, and that was amazing. It's every time it happens, it's magical. But if you just be a little bit shorter, my winter. It will be nice. Oh, let's see. Yes, I know. This thing, like 20 bucks, literally. I mean, I don't know how long the battery runs, but if, I mean, I just, like I say, I'm going to use it once a year. That's, that is genius. Um... I'm not sure. I don't normally start uh, the Snapdragon that way. So I'm not really sure. But as long as you can divide them easily after that, then I guess it just kind of depends on how comfortable you are with how many seeds you put in them. Okay, I think that I'm caught up now. Ah, uh, you know, I know that people talk about companion planting, about what to grow next to other things, other than using basil and nasturtiums and marigolds for my vegetables out in the raised bed. I really don't pay much attention to everything else, like what's next to next, um, as far as, you know, uh, helping controlling the pet situation. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Ooh, that's that's really that's really warm. Hello. Okay, so we're getting close to be done, you guys. I want to call it off about in about ten minutes. So, if you have any questions, let me know. But there is one more thing that I wanted to show you, and I don't have them yet. Hang on one second. They are a little dry. Oh my goodness. This is our garden. Thank you so much. You don't have to do it, but thank you so much. Look at this. These are, can you guys guess what this is? Look at that. I will give you a big shout out if you guys can guess what this is. And I'm looking at the comments right here. Anybody? I only have one seed in each container. That's how bushy they are. They look amazing. And these are cool loving. <laughs> Everybody knows, I feel. 
if I were to look at this and be like, I don't know, what is that like some sort of lettuce? Um, yeah, these are violas. Yes, awesome. Christy, Joanne, Christine, all of you are amazing. Um, but I studied these guys. Let me see. I studied these guys on the 27th of January. And I think I was thinking that I was going to put them up. But these are a ton of them, you guys. These are a ton. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start uh, to get them outside, especially this week where we have nicer, nicer, cooler temperatures. And I'm just going to get them outside. And once they're ready, I'm just going to put them in containers and then hopefully they can just continue growing. And that way I can save, I can save that all that soil and burn up. They need a little bit of water. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, let me see. Oop. There we go. Everybody's guessing the same thing. You guys, I thought that it was going to be really hard for you guys to guess, apparently. Apparently I was wrong. But anyway, you guys, let me make sure that these guys are going to a safe place. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys were here on the live, you guys are amazing. I appreciate it. Um, I think that Sundays, like I mentioned, I think that Sundays is definitely um, it's going to be a better day for me to to feel, you know, like I don't have to be somewhere. I don't have to worry about my kids getting home and all of that. Um, so hopefully I can keep on doing this. I, I don't think that I can do it every week, but I definitely think that it will be something that I can do maybe every other Sunday. Um, but let me know if work, if Sunday works better for you guys, then, then awesome. Oh, I know, I know. And I am, I think that will be fine. Once they start growing outside, um, I think that will be fine. If, even if we get snow, which is very possible. Even if we get snow like in late April here in Indiana, which we, we have done before, um, I am pretty sure that will be fine. But guys, if you haven't, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are watching in the replay, let me know if you guys have any questions about the peppers, about pinching some of the flowers, about dahlias from seed. Um, I am not an expert. I have said this before. I am not an expert in all of this that I'm doing, but I just love to share. I just love to share the things that I am uh, doing with you here. Let me see. Awesome. All right, you guys, thank you for being here, and I will see you on the next video.